Hello, and today we're gonna to look at how to connect the On Ecta app to your Daikin heat pump. Now, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is download the Daikin On Ecta app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple iStore. Um, download the app um, and make sure that's downloaded onto your device. Next thing you're gonna need is the LAN adapter. So you will have a LAN adapter they do come in a little blue bag when it comes with the actual unit, so you might find a blue bag in your uh, with your documents and bits and pieces, or this might be plugged into the MMI already for you to get connected to. And we're gonna have a look now at where they go in each different unit that we supply um, and how to plug those in to get us started. If you've got a monoblock, you will have an MMI screen in your home somewhere, and your LAN adapter slides into a slot in the side if you've got a hydro box, there's a little twisty uh, screw on the top and you pop the front off. You will then find two retaining screws here, little Phillips screwdrivers. Once they're undone, this front will pop down and you'll find a little slot to put your LAN adapter at the bottom. And finally, if you've got an integrated unit, it's got two little retaining clips on the top the front panel pops off, be careful of the wires, and you can see where it slides in to a little slot down in the bottom, similar to the Hydra box. So once you've verified your email and gone back into the app and logged back in, you will come up with a screen and it says, let's add your first unit. So we're gonna add our first unit. We're gonna tell it where we are because it likes to know where we are. So if you can set it so if you're on your way home and you get within a certain distance of your home, it will turn heat on, etc., etc. Um, so we're gonna allow that one. Um, then gonna ask us if we, it would like to find uh, devices on our lo local network. So we're gonna allow it to do that because it wants to find our actual um, unit itself. Once it's done that, we can click on to detect a wireless device. So next it's going to ask us uh, what type of device we've got. It's got lots of um, air conditioning units and bits and pieces on there. Obviously we're looking for the heat pump. It's then gonna ask us what type of heat pump we've got. And if you're not sure what heat pump you've got, then you can have a look in your manufacturer's instructions or any paperwork that you've got to tell you which one you have actually got on your system. Um, for this example, we're going to connect to a monoblock. Once we're on the monoblock, it's going to say, do you want to connect using AP mode or WPS? We've already told the um, MMI that we're going to connect with AP mode. So I'm going to click connect with access mode. Um, how do I turn on my access point mode? We'll have a look on the controller of how to do this. So to enable the AP mode to be able to connect to the app, we simply go into the settings on the side go to wireless gateway, and this option will come up as soon as you plug in and it does a restart. Wireless gateway, go to mode, enable AP mode, yes, and now we're able to connect to the app. And I'm gonna click next. It's gonna ask if it can join the Daykin app network, so I'm gonna click join. And it should take a few moments and it should connect to my device. Once it's connected to the device, it's gonna ask us which Wi-Fi network we want to connect to. We're in the training center over here, so I'm gonna click training center, connect to network, um, and it's gonna ask us for the password for the training center, which I'm gonna put in here. Remember this is the network, yes, connect to network, and it will then connect the LAN adapter to the Wi-Fi network. This also may take a few seconds. So once we've um, chosen the unit that we've got, it asks us to create a new home. I'm gonna call it home. Um, Clacton on C is where we are at the uh, HPIN Academy. I'm gonna click continue, and the Daykin Altherma is now added to my account. I'm gonna click OK, and it gives me access then to the On Ecta app. Seems pretty simple. Sometimes it can go wrong. There's some stages at which you might have to go back and do it again. Um, it's um, a little bit temperamental um, and it's not much fun to get connected, but once you are connected, it should stay connected. 
Stay tuned because in our next video, we're going to have a look at the Onecta app and how to use the functions with inside the app. Thanks for watching.